Greetings, Minecrafters. Nonsanity here, and welcome to episode three of my Resident Rise 3 Let's Play series. Here on the uh, Resident Rise sort of Primus server, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be calling it. It's named Newton, but it's from the Primus guys, and uh, it's Resident Rise, so don't know what we're going to call it, but I'm just calling it the Resonant Rise Let's Play on my channel. That's good enough for the moment. So, uh, last time we got our mining portal. We were doing a little bit of processing. Well, I dug out more room here. Because it's time to get more than just the couple of machines I got from the quests. Oh, speaking of the quests. Is there anything else that we can do? This first quest group. Fishing made easy. Make a fish trap. Okay. Well, I'll have to do that later. But for now, I need to get some power going. For that, I've just made this guy, which if I give you the recipe, it's very cheap. Osmium, two copper, two wood, three iron, furnace, heat generator from mechanism. And I'm going to stick this guy over in this little pocket I made in the wall. I think I'm making this in the right shape. Let me see here. All right, so yeah, this guy will turn lava you put in it into power, and it'll use the lava up. Or you can pour lava around it. And that will heat it up and make power. Now this arrangement here will let me put a source block of lava on top. It'll flow to the back and underneath. It'll flow to both sides and underneath. And it'll flow underneath, covering five sides. And then this side will have power. But I just have to seal everything in like that. So I can put the lava there and seal this off. And I'll just have a little spot there for power to come out. And the lava will be nicely contained inside the wall. So let me get a bucket. I've got a bucket. I wonder if I can get some lava out of my smeltery just to save some time. No. All right. Well, let me run off to the uh, mining age here and get some lava, and I'll be right back. All right. I'm back from the mining age. There's a surface pool that I found last time right on the surface. Easy to, enough to do. So make sure I do this quickly. Boom. That should be now flowing around. There it is. Can't see it on that side. We can see it on that side. That should be producing power now. There it goes. It's not a lot, but it's a great starter one because it's renewable and it's, you know, easy to do. It's underground. And now I can slap a machine there to have electricity right away. Uh, and later I can put pipes out here and have more machines in this room. So that's good. That's a good start. Um, I'm also going to want to make a tree farm. And I already started making some of what I'm going to need for that. And let me show you here. It's uh, this, this, those, and this. Now these are plastic. And you need the plastic to make this uh, machine block as well. Oh, wrong one. The recipe for this guy. And here I just made plastic pellets and smelted it down to plastic. And the plastic pellets are just coal, charcoal, sand, and clay. So it's easy to make. I don't have to go around running looking for a rubber tree right away. I will eventually, but for now, I can make some plastic out of just stuff I found on the ground. And that makes a planter, and that's one part of it. The next part of it will be a harvester. These are both mine factory reloaded machines. Because so I want to make a tree farm. All right, I need to make some shears. It looks like it doesn't extract materials from the nearby chest here to do the recipes. Need a golden axe. Now let's take that out. Make some sticks. Golden axe. 
Remember that game? All right, and then another machine block. Because the recipe to make machine blocks makes three, so I've got extras. That, that, and that. All right, harvester. Next, I'm going to need a generator. And I want to go with the furnace generator, because I think I've got enough iron for it. So I need to make a furnace. I need some more cobble here. So furnace. So An iron block. Only one. There we go. So it's iron block, furnace. Iron all around? No, what was it? Oh, the redstone, yes. There it is. So these three machines will be the primary ones to run a tree farm. But I'm going to need conduit. And that's why I made the other machine, the, the uh, heat generator. Because I need to make... Uh, I want to make Ender I.O., Alright, so Ender IO. We're going to have the power, so we need to make an alloy smelter, I think. So let's look at Ender IO. I love the Ender IO cables because they can operate inside the same space, multiple different types of cables. And the uh, basic uh, energy conduit just takes some conductive iron, which is redstone and iron. I got plenty of that, but I do need an alloy smelter. So let's come up here to the alloy smelter. Three furnaces, cauldron, iron, iron bars, more iron, one piece of copper and some gold nuggets. So let's start from the bottom. Piece of copper, redstone, I got that. Need some iron bars, got those. I think those are in the corners, that in the center, iron like that. It's got one of those. And the final recipe, three furnaces, cauldron. So I need three furnaces. One, two, three. And a cauldron. All right. So that, that, three furnaces, and iron. All right, alloy smelter. Run over here, plop it down, it should charge up. There it is. All right, now we can make, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get some redstone, I forgot that. That'll let me make three batches of power cables. There we go. And that'll cook up. Now the other thing I'll need for the tree farm is item conduit. And that requires pulsating iron, which I think was going to require an ender pearl. Now thankfully it uses nuggets for the recipe. So one piece of pulsating iron will get me three batches of item conduits. And that should be enough. So I need one of my ender pearls that I found in loot chests. I had six. Yeah, six. That's pretty good. And I just need one piece of iron to merge with that. How are we doing here? That's going to take a little while. All right. Oh, the other thing I need for both of these is conduit binder. A conduit binder is gravel sand and clay. There's a lot of things you can make from gravel, sand, and clay, and just different combinations. Uh, what was the proportions? Six gravel, two sand, one clay. And it makes a lot, so I'll just make two batches. Yeah, two. And then sand. Let's run over here. Clay, sand, gravel, 
and I can just cook this up here in a regular furnace, which I won't have to start using my coal up anymore. I can switch to using the alloy furnace for everything. But just to get things going a little faster right here. See, that makes four for each one. And the recipe to make it, how many did it make? It makes eight. So yeah, you get a lot for uh, just a little bit of material. All right, we'll be back when all these things are cooking up and I'll put the cables together. Okay, everything's finished cooking up. I got 64 conduit binders for making two batches of the uh, conduit binder. Or the, the stuff it comes from. This this conduit, a binder composite. Yeah, two batches of that gave me a whole stack. So yeah, don't make too much of that. I always do, but this time I didn't. All right, so... Now I have three batches of energy conduit, which I can also use here. Turn this into nuggets, and I can get three batches of item conduit, too. That's doing pretty good. All right. So let me get one more thing. I thought I picked up a bone. I was hitting with things with it the other day. There, two bones. Let's see if I can crush the bone here. No, doesn't like that. Uh, all right, I'll just convert it by hand. Doesn't make as much, but that makes enough for what I need. So I need some more smooth stone. And well, let me look at the recipe. Okay, it's iron, not smooth stone. That's that's the uh, peaceful mode only. But I do need some wood. Let's go over here. I got three. Can I make a bowl. So bowl. That's on the top. All right, there. And iron. Oh, do I not? I gotta cook up more iron. <laughs> I'm one short. Really? I guess so. All right. Uh, be right back. Okay, got the iron. Last piece. <laughs> this in here. Watering can for the win. All right. So now all I need are some saplings. I've got a couple here. Do I have any more? Any of my chests? It doesn't look like it. That's enough to get me started. I'm going to do this in the uh, mining age here just because it's got plenty of room and sun. Yeah, I made a dimensional anchor, which is just a block of iron and four gold. And so I got this area loaded here. And if I remember the chunk, it's right there. Okay. So let's put... So I need a piece of stone there and the harvester. Actually, while I'm doing this, let's just plant, whoops, plant some of the trees over here. Now I still have to fill up the watering can here. Can do that. There, it's full. Turn that off. Now the watering can makes things grow really fast, and that's just going to be very handy to build up my supply of uh, saplings for the tree farm. That works pretty well. The watering can increases the tick rate, so it just the random growth functions happen faster more often. You know, I can let them just grow while I work. In the meantime, chop down these two and get a few more. I don't think I, I only got one? Really? Two?
tree. All right, so back to this. Uh, I need dirt. Don't have any, do I? Be right back. Oh, you know, I don't think I ever introduced you to the treasure slime here. Yeah, this was a white slime with a heart in it. That I was that was down in the caves. Yeah, I know you love me. He was down in one of the. I, every time I went past, I heard him jumping around. He never despawned. And I finally went and found him. And uh, if you right-click him, he becomes your pet. So I just have him here. He's actually sitting. He doesn't need the fence. But you can give him red, green, and blue dyes to change his color. So right now he's just the default black. All right. Now, the way I do a tree farm is I don't put... A, put it all down at ground level because the planter will put saplings right next to each other and that's a little bit less efficient for growing especially if you want a lot of um, draw, uh, uh, saplings so what I do is I put it put everything one step higher like this no, I need to go down one more sorry uh, shovel like that and the planter goes there is that right yes because the normally there'd be a piece of dirt on top and it plants on top of that dirt but I don't want a piece of dirt directly on top of it but it will its default three by three area until you give it an upgrade will cover these four spots and this likewise will be able to harvest those four spots now they just both need power so let's run some power here, like that. And the power will come from this generator. And then we're going to have item conduits coming out. I'm going to have to move these things around later. Let's disable that. Down and down. I'll dig out these three. Put some more conduit down. All right. So I'm gonna have to make some filters. Forgot those. But basically, the harvester will harvest the wood, apples, and saplings. I'll put a filter right here, so that this only inserts saplings into the planter. And this is export extract all the time. And the other stuff will come here. There'll be three, one for each type. Um, I will have a barrel down here for saplings of to catch the overflow because this can only hold you know so many. But I can actually go ahead and Put the one piece of coal in there that I have on me and get some more saplings here. Take four. All right. So toss four saplings in. It plants them. All right. Now, before it harvests, I need to get the barrels. So let me make the barrels. I'll be right back. Oh, wait. I have got wood on me. I don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> All right. So I think, let's see, the barrel. The Java barrel is a chest, a slab, and solid wood. Oh, yeah. That. Gets me three of the chests. I need to make some slabs. That's enough. Chests and wood. Two, three. There we go. One, two, three. 
All right, so I can prime these by getting a piece of wood, tossing it in there. An apple. Oop. Cool. It just harvested, and it ran out of power. That's okay. I can toss some of this wood in there for the moment. Hmm. Oh, these are all set to uh, disable this one. This one should be an insert. And insert. And insert. And need some more power. It's not super fast, but this is just the beginnings of the tree farm. We will improve it. Alright, there's the wood coming in. The saplings, looks like the saplings went in over here. They should, because that's a shorter path to that than it is to over here. So for now, the saplings should go in there without a filter. I'm going to go ahead and take one and uh, lock that barrel to so I lock them all now. There they go. Now, the problem is this power. It's going to keep running out. We have a solution for that, but I'm going to have to go and make something else. I forgot one more thing. I'll take you over there now. Ugh. You're heavy, dude. Here. Get down. Come over here. And sit. Good boy. Yeah, I was down mining and I got two more. <laughs> Let's take out this fence. They don't really need it. Yeah, I know you guys love me. Your slimy little hearts. There we go. Alright, you guys just chill here. I don't know what I'll do with you, but I think one of you gave me some cake. Which is interesting. Alright, so I did some mining. Losing a few saplings here. Stick them in. And, uh, yeah, woof, that's a big one. And it's probably all out of power. Let's give it that. And there it goes. I think it'll do all the leaves first. But I got some more iron. I also got some other things while I was down there. So I need to go clean up my inventory and finish making the next machine. Here have some coal. Yeah, see you later, guys. Mmm, yummy cake. You know, that's chocolate or red velvet. Tastes the same either way. Alright, so I made a machine frame, which is tin gear and some iron and glass. That's just uh, tin. Got a redstone reception coil, gold and redstone. Two copper gears, again, the same Copper around iron. Bricks made from clay. And the last thing was a piece of redstone. There we go. Redstone furnace. Oh, and I want to get some more iron. So I think I do want to make one filter this time. So I need a chest. Like that. Some iron like that for a hopper and then it's a hopper and some paper do I have some paper thought I had some paper I do and I think I need to surround it or just put it on top get surrounded nope probably just like that there we go all right let's go So, let's see. How am I going to arrange this? I can put a shovel. Like that. There. Insert filter. 
for wood. And this will be an input. Okay. So this is what's going to happen. Wood is going to go into the furnace first. Because that's a little bit closer than the barrel. It'll get, get cooked up into charcoal and put into the generator for power. And that will power everything. So I can actually disable that one because you don't really need it there because it's going to get power from above. Alright, so let's just put a stack of wood in here. And it's going to need a little bit of power to kickstart it. Get some coal. Uh, give it a little bit more coal. It's going to have to give everything power. It's got energy. That's not getting energy. I thought it should get it from above. All right, well, let's just break those again. Insert filter. So, there it's getting power. It's going to cook that up into charcoal, put the charcoal into there, which will power this, which will power it. Any excess wood will go into the barrel. So this should now be a, oh, excuse me, back up, back up, there you go. This should be a self-powered tree farm. That looks right. I don't think apples or wood will go into here because I don't think it accepts them. Chop down these other trees here. And take down the saplings and put them in the system. Because this is very small, but it's not going to stay small. I'm going to make some upgrade cards for the planter and the harvester so they cover a larger area. And that's why I've got some extra dirt with me. There we go. Because I'm going to put more dirt in a continuing pattern like this. There goes a tree. Okay, and a row like this. So that'll be like one upgrade. I'll have to move the planter to the center every time I start doing these upgrades. But that's going to start making me lots of wood and charcoal and saplings which I will need later and I can use the apples for food as well now if I take my watering can here and accelerate go on grow it's not as bright because it's raining in the overworld which is making it overcast here oh well They'll grow in their own time, and this should all... That, that's already got 35 uh, charcoal in it, and it's almost full, which means everything else must be full. I'll put a little bit more wood in there. And this should have a positive uh, increase. If not, it's just I just need to make it bigger. But I think even a small one will make more power than it uses in the form of wood. Could be mistaken. I usually don't run it small like this very long because there are a number of different sizes of upgrades. And I don't think, I've only got four emeralds, so I need two more emeralds before I can make uh, the largest size upgrade, which is huge. Look at that. The radius increase is 11, which means the diameter is double that 
So it's like 11 more trees in each direction. <laughs> Actually, 22 trees that way. 11 trees that way. 11 trees that way. If they're spread out like this. But if I don't do the emerald, there's platinum. I don't think I have any shiny. There's diamond. Don't think I've got enough diamonds to do that. Quartz. I could probably do... Well, it's only nether quartz. I don't have much nether quartz. Gold I can definitely do. So I'm probably going to go do gold. I'm going to have to cook my plastic. Yeah, take the plastic sheets, cook it again to get the raw plastic. I'll need six of those. Gold nuggets, redstone, and gold. Yeah, I, could go, I can do that right now. I'll be right back. Okay, I just cooked up the plastic. So I've got two gold upgrades. Now I was, while I was looking at upgrades, I saw these things which I didn't recognize, which are part of ancient warfare automation. And I was like, quarry upgrade, large quarry upgrade. It's like quarry? I, I didn't even look at this mod because ancient warfare just sounded like another weapon pack. And it does seem to have some weapons, but it also has a flywheel controller, torque shaft, Sterling Generator? Windmill? I'm going to have to look into this. Research Station. Engineering Station. Dynamic Mace. So it looks like it's got a little bit of magic. A little bit of technology. It's got some farming machines. Warehouse Storage. Yeah, I'll be looking at this between episodes. So expect me to uh, possibly use some of this next time. Mailbox. Yeah, I'm definitely going to look into this one. It's got some chunk loaders, too. Well, that's pretty easy. What's the other one? Deluxe chunk loader. Obsidian. Hmm. All right, well, uh, let's go put in these uh, upgrades. <laughs> and that'll pretty much end this episode. So the gold upgrades increase it by seven, which means I have to move this seven spaces. Uh, shovel, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to go there. Get my power. Oops. And my items. Now I'm going to have to use priority to get the saplings out here. I'll show you how that works. Here, you increase this number. I'm going to set it to 2. And look, it's already gotten some saplings. Good. So that should take priority over this barrel over here. Good. And it just has 1. So it's starting to plant. Um, I need to make more spaces for the trees. So it was seven plus the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should do it. And you're in the way. Now your food, your bacon. I noticed that, uh, was it Flaxbeard? Oh, Hydraulic Craft. Hydraulic Craft adds bacon. Very nice. I just dug some dirt with bacon. Why not? Bacon does everything. It is the superfood. All right, so again, eight this way. So one, two, three, four. And four in the other direction. One, two, three, four.
All right, so that should be working. Let's see, it's got power. Oh, I didn't put in the uh, upgrades. <laughs> there we go. I should be planting a lot more saplings. There it goes. Where are they? There they are. Very good. How are we doing for wood? It's completely out, but this is completely full of charcoal. This is partly full of charcoal. So as more wood comes through, it'll it'll top off the charcoal. It looks like the rain is done, so let's see if we can speed up a couple trees. Oh, there we go. Now the problem when it's bigger like this, it is scanning at the same speed. So it takes longer to find each tree. But once it finds a tree, it'll start doing all the trees that it touches at once. So is this... I think these only use power when they do work. So I guess this is where the power will... Will it drop? I don't know if it'll drop because it's got charcoal. All right, well, this is set to just run. There it goes. Found that tree. There's the wood from it. And the sapling should have gone into here, which should be empty now. Almost empty. Just going to plant more over here on this side. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, no saplings going here, so it's all going into the planter. All right, automated tree farm is running. And this will get me lots of wood. Because later I'm going to need lots of graphite for big reactors when I want to get lots of power. And for graphite, you need charcoal, so you need lots of wood. So it's good to get this started early. Tree farm complete. First of my real good automation. Oh, where'd the... Oh, there they are. Thought they disappeared. All right, so let's clean up my inventory while we talk. I am going to clean up here and decide what I'm going to want to do next for next episode. But I think this was a really good episode. Got some uh, important stuff done. They can here. I've got, uh, oh, now, no, that's one thing else I can do here. I've got my power cable. So I can come get this guy. Now I can pull the power out into the room. Actually, I want to move that up one. I want it uh, like that. That's where my machines will go. That one I want there. Yeah. So this will be my processing area. And uh, start maybe doing that next episode. So, all right. Good things done. This is Nonsanity signing out. See you next time. I like, subscribe, and Check out the other players on the server. The links are below in the description. Talk to you later.